Fear Factor. Each show, six contestants from around the country battle each other in three extreme stunts. Oh my god. These stunts are designed to challenge the contestants both physically and mentally. <laughs> if a contestant is too afraid to complete a stunt, they're eliminated. <laughs> if they fail a stunt, they're eliminated. But if they succeed, they move one step closer to the grand prize. $50,000, six contestants, three stunts, one winner. Fear Factor. I'm Joe Rogan, and this is Fear Factor. The stunts you're about to see were all designed and supervised by trained professionals. They are extremely dangerous and should not be attempted by anyone, anywhere, anytime. perceive me as very prissy and girly. I am, however, I want to test myself and prove others wrong that I can do things that they don't think I can. I'd like to be able to say I'm one of those people that is here to challenge themselves or try some new experiences, but in my life I've already experienced quite a bit and seen a lot of things. It's really just about the money. The only reason I'm here is for my son, Blake. It's all about my son. It's not about the money. I want to prove to him that whatever you set your mind to, you can do. I'm not going to be like the other contestants saying, I'm going to win. I'm for sure going to win. I'm going to kick all these other people off. What happens is fate. I'm going to do the best I can. And if I get lucky, I'll win. When you look at me right away, you don't think that I've been in the military for seven years. I think that's going to benefit me a lot, and I plan on doing very well. It's going to surprise them. They're not going to know till last minute, or maybe it's too late. I know I'm going to win. It's a formality that's going on right now for me to go through this show. I know the people that I'm dealing with, I've already read them. Now, mind you, they may think I'm crazy, but that's the whole game. That's the whole idea. I'm going to win. How's everybody doing? doing awesome. Good. All right. Well, you six people have been brought here from all over the country for one reason, to stare fear in the eye as you compete for $50,000. To win the money, you're going to have to complete three extreme stunts, stunts that will not only test you physically, but mentally as well. If you are too afraid to attempt a stunt, you'll be eliminated. If you try a stunt but fail to complete it, you're gone. But if you do succeed, you move on to the next round, and you're that much closer to the cash. You guys ready to see your first stunt? Yes. Yes. yes! yes! All right, here we go. I'm being held. You will each be hanging upside down from that helicopter bound by your ankles. As the helicopter hovers over the lake, you will have to figure out which of the three keys unlocks the lock and releases you into the cold water below. The two men and the two women that do this the fastest will move on to the next round. The others will be eliminated. We've randomly selected who gets to go first, and Nicole, you are lucky number one. <laughs> are you ready? Ready. Come with me, my dear. Come on, Nicole. Come on, Nicole, let's go. See you, Nicole. I think Nicole is going to do all right. She pretends like she's a little bit of a, a primper and, and kind of a priss, but mm. she's pretty tough. She's yeah. got some strong oh, no. abs. Nicole's not going to be able to lift up and figure out what key to stick in. I hear them talking about me. I think her hair is going to kill her. <laughs> With the helicopter, it's going to be whipping around. She, what do you think is your biggest competition? I really don't know. I think Reggie's a big talker, but. She's going down. Look at him. He's looking right at you. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Nicole, you can't do it. You're not strong enough in the abs. We'll see. Hey, Nicole, you forgot your lip gloss. We'll see how you do. <laughs> You ready to do this? I'm ready. Right, get in your bathing suit, and good luck to you. Thank you. You know she's just standing there getting nervous. Nervous right as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. She keeps twitching. She's oh, twitching. Yeah. Don't hate me if I win. I'm telling you now. Don't hate me. We won't. OK. 
because so he won't win. win. That's right. She What's looks up? What's up? Scared. She looks scared. Yeah, man. Yeah. You think? Too yeah, damn pretty to be doing this. Not in this for experience. Go win this boy. I'm you're in this for experience. You're I'm not in for this the cash, for baby. Oh, yes. Okay. Cash. All right. And everybody else is in this for what? I'm just motivated. Reggie's motivated in the mouth. So I proclaim things. Okay. Yes. <laughs> and what do you proclaim? I proclaim that I'm going to win this damn contest. I kind of am thinking that I'm a little crazy <laughs> for doing this, but. My strategy is once I leave the ground, I'm going to just immediately crunch my upper body up there. I'm ready for it, but yeah, I think I'm a little crazy. <laughs> now remember, she has to figure out which of the three keys opens the lock and drops you into the water. All right, give me some predictions. How fast are you going to be able to do this? I'd say about 30 seconds. 25. 25? A minute. A minute? About two minutes. I say two minutes. All right, here she goes. She's up. She's having trouble. Well, you got three keys. She's taking too long. There's three keys. Oh. Oh. That was pretty quick. What really got me going was seeing the helicopter above me. There was so much wind, so much noise. I just reached up, I grabbed my ankle and grabbed the first key and I'm just thinking, God, please. So I put it in the right way the first time and I just popped it and it opened. I was in shock when that key popped the lock. I pulled the release cord and I fell into the water. 15 seconds, set that bar, kid. All right, okay. Very good. Me wrong. <laughs> Very good job, they all underestimated you. Yeah. They all thought you were gonna fail miserably. Jessica's next. Any advice? Not giving any advice. Good luck. I knew you would. Oh. I knew she would. Ooh, she seems nice, but she's playing <laughs> rough. Jessica, are you ready to try it? I am so ready to try it. Oh, come this. with me. That's yeah, not a good hand by coordination. Come on. Who do you think is your biggest competition in? I think Toby. He's kind of quiet, you know? Really? Seems a little sneaky, a little shady. A little shady, huh? A little shady. So what about Holly? You're not worried about Holly No, I'm at really all? not worried about Holly. Holly's talking a lot of smack, huh? You can't beat this. <laughs> Nothing compares to oh, these. I, know, I mean, man. come on. Yeah. What was your motivation to do the show? My son. Your son? Yes, he's crazy about you and the show. Well, that's great. What's your son's name? Blake. All right, look in the camera and say, Blake, this is for you, buddy. Blake, this is for you, baby. All right, you ready? Yes, All right. let's do this. Get Thank in your you. bathing suit and good luck to you. Thank you All very right. much. 15 seconds. That was amazing. I have to give you that. I think that's the time to be for everybody now. Yeah. That's, everybody. A good, that's a real Jeez. good start. All right, Nicole, you're the veteran. How do you think Jessica's going to do here? I think she looks pretty strong. She's pretty yoked, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, she is. But I don't know if that's really going to help her, really. You don't think it helped you? Not really. I'm concentrating and strategizing. I've got a tough time to beat. So I've really got to be strong at my time and beat her 15 seconds. I can do this. You know how it works every week. We have a guy who talks a lot of crap <laughs> and fails miserably. <laughs> so you just, just reek of that, my friend. I smell it coming. I'm not going to lose, man. You're I'm telling lose? you. It's I'm impossible? telling you. It's okay. not impossible. All right, give me some predictions on Jessica. She's going to do good. Holly? I'm nervous. You're nervous? Uh -oh. I am nervous. Uh -oh. yeah. Nicole, which girl would you rather see go home? Jessica. She seems a little bit more like stern and tough and you wow. know. I agree. I'd you like agree? To see Jessica she's go tougher home. than you? That's what she's she saying. Might kick my ass. <laughs> she might be <laughs> Which of the three keys unlocks the lock and releases you into the cold water below? A little struggle. Oh, she pulled the quick release first. Oh, she got problems. Oh, she yanked the keys off the tether. She's got to hold them in her hand now. That's going to be tough. Oh, man. Say goodbye to 15 seconds, that's for sure. She dropped the key. She's gone. She's she quit. It was just a natural reaction to want to grab onto something. I went to grab, and that's when I pulled the release, so I made it a lot harder for myself. When I went to grab the keys, they broke off. 
and I got the first key in and turned and it would not unlock. And the other two keys fell out into the water. So that was it. The keys were gone and there wasn't anything else I could do. My son said that you give it your best. I feel like I let him down though. There's a part of me that is disappointed in myself. I really wanted to take it home today and win. Learn from her mistake when you're up there. Do not release the quick release first. Unlock yourself, then release the quick release, just like Nicole, and you will move on to the next round just like her. <laughs> I just have to get it done, though. It doesn't matter what time. Correct. All right. All right, Holly, you ready? I'm ready. Let's All go. Right, Let's see go. you. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Holly, it's got to be a big relief for you now. You know that Jessica's gone. Such a relief. She's glad that she went for you. Now I can do it and I can be relaxed. I'm still going to do it as quick as possible, but I'm not going to let my ego get in the way. All you have to do, you complete this, you will move on to the next round and that much closer to the cash. You ready? I'm ready. All Let's right, do get it. me a swimsuit and good All luck right. to you. I don't know. She's, I don't pretty, know. she's pretty tall. She's, yeah. she's, kept she's got a long soon. ways to go to get up that ankle. That's Holly fun. is so quiet, I have no idea. Hey, but she's a military chick. She's in shape. Yeah, you know, but she might she's be a scientist. Than you think. But still, she had to go through all the training yes. and stuff, so she might be tougher than she uh, was. Yeah, that's see. true. Never underestimate size. Right? I know that. Exactly. All right, here we go. You think anybody's going to beat 15 seconds? I hope not. That'd be uh, cool if they don't. <laughs> all right, here we go. having a tough time. She didn't find it on the first try, that's for sure. Now this is what we thought was gonna happen. Right, you got exactly. up there. Those abs gotta be hurting by now. Yeah. She's still working it. She better be glad she's got time. I'm sorry. Look at that, she's dancing. Yeah. Look at that, a ballerina. I think she learned that in the Coast Guard. Come on. Yeah, she's having a tough time. Oh. Come on, Holly! Let's go, Holly! Don't you give up, Holly! through and I kept losing track of what keys I already used. So I know I overlapped the keys a couple times. I made it to the next round and I'm happy with that. <laughs> well, good job, good job. Next in 12 seconds. Finished. Now finished. I won't be entering the locksmith uh, <laughs> position as long as you anytime finish. soon. You finished, but, that's all you need. Yeah, I finished, that's all I wanted to do. Any that's advice for your fellow contestants now that well, you know? Well, now I don't care, so. All right, okay. Uh, it's tough. It's a lot tougher than it looks. Well, Tim, as a pilot, I'm sure you have cold blue steel nerves. That's it. Calm under pressure. Calm under pressure. Calm under pressure. You ready to do this, bro? I'm ready. All right, set the bar for the men. Let's, Let's go. go. All right. All right, Tim, this is it, buddy. Did you learn anything watching Nicole, Holly, and uh, Jessica go? I think you just got to take your time, keep a cool head, basically start start fast, but don't fumble with the keys. You can't take your time, though, because it's a race. Well, the right. last thing you want to do is lose to Reggie. Time for to see what the so guys what do you, can what do. You, do. You, what do you think, Reggie? You think they're gonna, you're gonna whoop them? I thought you said you're gonna win no matter what. I'm gonna win, uh -huh. but if, yeah, it, right? it depends on. You know you're gonna get lucky. I'm change, gonna win. No, I'm not changing anything. I'm not changing anything. You're just lucky because you got the 15 seconds. All right, what are you gonna do with the money if you win? Pay off flight school, and there's gonna be a little bit left over. So of course you gotta have. Then a you party. gotta have a little party. Gotta All right, party. bro. You ready to start the party? I'm ready. Good luck. All right, set the bar. I'll do it. All right. Oh, look at the cute shorts that Tim has on. <laughs> You're so wrong to that. Uh, Tim's a pilot, cool under pressure. He might surprise us all here. Okay, he's up! Oh, come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Keep going! Keep going! Don't get lucky! Yeah! His abs are already out. Cole, you're 
You're a freak. She's small and she's short. Okay, That's awesome. It's easy. It's easy. I it's think you well, really yeah. have to keep track of those keys. Yes. yes. Tim's been hanging up there for two minutes. How can you be so quiet, man? <laughs> hey. Somebody's gone. Don't get too calm, baby. Oh, this is seconds. crazy. You guys will be up there for a while. He is really struggling. Oh. Yes. I do not think I want Tim flying my plane. <laughs> I think I'll take the bus. I'm feeling for a while. One, getting tired. Two, three. What's that? That's me counting the money. It's been what? four minutes now. He's got to oh. be wearing thin. He's quitting. Tim's quitting. Woo! Yes! Oh, oh. You haven't gone yet. Oh, it doesn't matter. matter. All I got to do is Wait till you get up there. Oh, please. My arms just slowly started losing strength. Eventually, I, I mean, I kept pulling myself back up and putting more keys in, but the keys weren't turning. Eventually, it, I just ran out of strength. Not only did I not complete the task, but I didn't complete the task that two 110-pound girls did. I'm completely disappointed in the fact that I'm walking away empty-handed. Since there's no motivation for you guys to finish this and anything under, you know, 50 minutes, you can do whatever <laughs> you want. All you have to do is get it done. We've decided to add a little incentive. All right. So. Whoever gets the fastest time, $1,000. You okay. ready, Toby? Well, All right, come on, bro. <laughs> okay. Let's do it. So what's your strategy? What are you going to do differently? Well, I'm going to just try doing it without uh, holding up any of the ropes or chains first. I'm just going to try all, all my muscle, all my stomach muscle first. On this one, your muscle actually gets in the way. Are you ready to do this? Yeah. Added incentive? Yeah. You know fun. what you have to do? All you have to do is get through it, but you and Reggie are in a race for 1000 mm hmm All right. Yeah. Good luck, bro. Thanks, team. upside down, I was actually facing this guy, so I couldn't see the hole. By the time I got it turned around, my fingers were pretty much done. I couldn't feel the key anymore. They were numb. My wife, kids, and family will be proud of me no matter what happens. I know they'll be a little let down that it had to end so quick, but they'll know that I tried my hardest. All right, Reggie, you know you got a lot of backing up to do right yeah, now. Yeah, I do. You got to back up a lot of smack talk, dude. But they're interested. They're interested? Yes. Like folks at home? Yes, they want to see it. They want yeah. to see me do it, and I'm going to prove it. People are eating their pillows right now. I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is it. Toby's gone. Oh. That's it. All you have to do is complete it. You win $1,000, and you make it into the next round. And uh, if you fail, you will eat crow for a 1,000 years. <laughs> I'm you ready. ready to back it up? I'm ready to show you. Come on. Yeah, let's do it. All right, give me a prediction. How fast are you going to do this? Six I'm going seconds. to the 4 to All 15 right. seconds. Good All luck. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Hurting by now. Oh, his hands must be 
did not quit. This has got to be the craziest ending, <laughs> the most unlikely scenario ever. Did you guys think at the end of the day it could ever be possible that it would just be you two? No way. No way. <laughs> well, congratulations to both of you, and uh, let's get out of here and see what tomorrow's in store for you. Come on. Yesterday, everybody underestimated me and thought I was going to be the one to go home. So I'm feeling pretty good that I'm still here. My plan coming into the show was to just play it quiet, be a little mysterious. I didn't want anybody figuring me out, and of course they didn't. Today, it's going to be a bit different. I'm going to try and psych Holly out a little bit because I think now it's 50-50 chance. I'm so close to winning 50 grand, so now I think some games have to be played. My first impression of Nicole was maybe she was more on the girlier side and that she wouldn't be my main competitor and I really didn't worry about her at first. It's very surprising to me that it is the two of us here. I thought that maybe she'd be one of the first to go home and also probably me be one of the first to go home. So she's definitely proven herself as a competitor. I don't take her for granted whatsoever. What's up, ladies? How are you? How are you doing? Doing good. Did you enjoy the ride in? We did. Yeah. Did you? It's great. Have a good time on the horses? Yeah. <laughs> That's good, because something tells me you're going to have seen a lot more of the horses later today. <laughs> All right. So are you happy that you made it here today? Very happy. Well, you know what? After you see what your stunt is, you might not be so happy. <laughs> you guys hungry at all? I'm starving. Are you really? Yes, Actually, I'm starving. Yeah. Terrific. Well, to stick with the horse theme, what we're going to do is we're going to play a little game of horseshoes. Okay. And what you're going to be playing for is this. Horse rectum. Oh my god! <laughs> okay. No way! Yes way! <laughs> don't tell me we have to eat those. Alright, I won't tell you. I'll tell her. Nicole, you have to eat these. It looks good. This is what we're going to do. You've got to play a little game of horseshoes. And <laughs> the score that you get is going to represent the amount of inches <laughs> of horse rectum that you have to eat. <laughs> okay. I can't believe I'm eating horses ass. Are you hungry? I'm very hungry. It looks good, right? It looks like it might be <laughs> it interesting. Great. What's the weirdest thing you've ever eaten before? I don't know. You don't know? I, mm. Come on, yesterday you said your mother was Greek and she was feeding you all kinds of crazy weird stuff. Things, but it may not be so weird. I'm sorry. Grape leaves doesn't really hang with horse <laughs> rectum. Grape leaves is not one of them. <laughs> well, Holly, what's the weirdest thing you've ever eaten? Nothing close. Nothing close? To horse rectum. We're going to flip to determine who gets to go first. Would you rather be yellow? Or would you rather be the unpainted side? Anybody have any preference? Nicole? Unpainted. Unpainted? OK. Is that OK with you? OK. Here we go. You ready? Of course. Unpainted. <laughs> it's twice now. Twice? <laughs> yeah. Well, it worked out good for you the first time, it's right? True, it's true. Come on, 15 <laughs> seconds. Maybe you get lucky. You will have three tosses, one of which you can throw out. A ringer means zero inches of rectum. We will add up your score, and your score will determine the amount of inches of horse rectum that you'll have to eat. Are well, you ready to get the party started? Yeah. Come with me. All right, you have three tosses of the horseshoe. Now, one of them we're going to throw out. All right, Nicole, you ready? This I'm is your ready. first toss. This counts for a lot, mm -hmm. a lot of inches of horse rectum. Yes, thank you for right? reminding me. Eight inches. Eight. Eight inches. Eight, 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 eight. Seven. Okay. You want to keep that? Yeah, I do. You sure? 
Can't change your mind after you do it. Better keep it. You gotta get eight this next two. Would you, you're giving me a headache. Um, yeah, I want, I want to keep seven. You want to keep it? Yeah. She's not going to make it. that she's seven? She's already done. Really? She's you done? Know, she won't eat seven. Yeah. Really? She's done. Done. Wow. Now you're going to get you eight. Ooh, eight. Toss huh? it out. Okay. All right, this is your last one. It's going to be eight. Blondie, please step aside. Plenty of horse rectum for you. <laughs> Six. You're chowing down 13 inches of horse rectum. No problem. I'm gonna have to ask for your help here. Yeah. Just want to help stretch it out. Pull the end. She Pull the end to stretch it, it out. <laughs> what are you doing? Well, if you stretch it out, it's better. All right, here we go. 13 inches right here. Oof. You have 10 minutes to eat 13 inches. Okay, I'm ready. Okay. Bon appetit. Go. That is so juicy and wet. Okay, Nicole, you're chowing down 13 inches of horse rectum. I can smell it from here. What is it, layers of skin and tissue? Oh, that's not hot. Oh, you get God. through this. You get through this. It's gonna come right back up. It goes well with your lipstick. Thank you. How is it? Tastes like chicken. I don't know, oh, Holly. It's gotta come back I don't back know if up. you're gonna be able to do this. I'm Holly, you're having a harder time I'm than she try. is. You're having a harder time watching than Nicole was <laughs> eating it. It's not a pretty sight. Your lip gloss is smearing. <sighs> I don't wanna fix it. I have more. <laughs> What's that, the happy rectum dance? Mm-hmm. Six minutes left. Mm -hmm. Your hands are shaking a little there. You all right? Mm hmm Almost done, look at you. God, it's so juicy. Mm, it's good. Is it good? Mm-hmm. You like it? Wait till you taste it. How do you fit 13 inches of rectum in that tiny little stomach? Oh. Mm. 50 grand, kid, just wolf it down. 50 grand. Done. Oh my God. Will you look at her? Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> That's right. Wow. My turn. Nicole, congratulations. I don't, know if you want to touch I don't mind. <laughs> Welcome to the finals. Thank you. All right, Holly. This is it. Three tosses. You can throw out the worst one, and the other two will count up, and that will represent the amount of inches of horse rectum you'll have to eat. You ready? I'm Let's ready. Get that Oh, it's an eight. You gonna keep it? Get rid of it? No. All right. No, can't keep that. These oh, two are gonna that's... count. That's a six, because it went over the line. All right, six. Come on, Holly. Come on, another eight. Get that ringer. Big juicy rectum for you. <laughs> Ring it. Oh, Son of a... it's not quite a ringer. It's an eight. There you go, 14 inches. Ooh. <laughs> okay, you have 10 minutes. Ready? Ready. Go. Gross. Nasty. Is it all juicy? Come on, Holly. You can get through this. You saw Nicole do it. If Nicole can do it, you can do it. I don't know if she can. You don't think so? Mm-mm. Yeah, no, no, no. You can do it. You're not going to puke. I think you Stop. need to puke. One strategy thing I was trying to do was to keep the pile of rectum away from my mouth and tear off small pieces. Because if I held it up close to my face, like Nicole had been doing, the smell would have overwhelmed me. The texture, ugh, it was so chewy. I gagged. Every time I consumed these balls, they were these juicy little jelly balls that when you crunch down, they just exploded in your mouth and I gagged, basically. You got two minutes left. Come on, Holly. You can do it. It's very possible. You can do it. Just chew and swallow fast. Come on, you're an animal. Just chew through it. Don't even feel it. Just go through it. Swallow. Come on. Come on, Holly. Quicker. You got to move quicker. 
Just swallow. Swallow chunks of it. Just go. 30 seconds for everything in your hand. Just do it. Come on, Holly. Uh. Do it. Take bites. Take bites and swallow. Swallow what's in your mouth and go. Come on, Holly. Gross. Holly, swallow what's in your mouth and go. Come on, Holly. You're giving up. I'm not going to do it. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. That's it. Who ate 12 inches for nothing? What that means is you just handed Nicole $25,000. I didn't hand crap. <laughs> well, I didn't give up. Well, since Nicole was the only person to complete this stunt, since she can't compete against herself, she will get $25,000 for being the only person to complete it. Congratulations. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And Holly, lucky for you, you get to return tomorrow to compete mm -hmm. for the remaining $25,000. She beat you yesterday, she beat you today. What is gonna happen tomorrow? Tough. I give it to her. You She's a good competitor. Her? Well, congratulations to you. Thank you. And Holly, congratulations for having a second chance. Let's get out of here and see what tomorrow in the finals has in store for the both of you. Come with me. I definitely think Holly is going to step it up today um, because in the first round I had a faster time than she did and yesterday I finished the rectum when she didn't. So I think she has a lot on the line to prove. I feel great about winning 25,000, but I'm still going to push myself for the 50. If I had to pick any of the contestants to be up against today, I definitely would have picked Nicole. I am hoping that I have a little bit more of an advantage as far as strength and endurance. 25000 is still a lot of money for me. Welcome to the finals. Thanks. Let me first start off by congratulating Nicole, being the only person to successfully free herself from the helicopter and eat 13 inches of horse rectum. <laughs> in doing so, she has won $25,000. And since Nicole can't compete by herself, We've brought Holly back in with some new life and a chance to compete for the remaining $25,000. You guys ready to see your final stunt? Very ready. All right. You will each have to traverse this series of beams. Whoever gets to the finish line the fastest will win. Here's the catch. If you take the longer outside route, the beams are wider. The shortcut is quicker, but the beams are much more narrow. Nicole, since you were the only person to successfully complete both stunts, you will be given a chance to call this, and whoever wins will be able to decide whether they want to go first or second. You ready? Heads. Heads it is. You've had very good success go going first. <laughs> first go it first. is, huh? Mm -hmm. What do you think about Holly? You excited that she's going first? Sounds good. Sounds good it's to you? To you ready? Yeah. Yeah? You sure? Kind of, yeah. Let's go. Come on. Good luck. Good luck. You mean bad luck. <laughs> bad luck. <There> Whatever. <laughs> Why did you decide to go first? <clears throat> it's been my good luck in a way. I don't know. I've done well going first, so I was like, if I, I don't want to change anything. Just so. keep it together? Yeah, exactly. I don't know how you can really practice. It's so different when you're up there. You have a background in ballet. Yeah. Do you think that's going to come into play here? It's going to help you out? Yeah, I think so, because I've done a lot of balance stuff, so hopefully, yeah. All right, Nicole, what is going to be your strategy? I think I'm going to take the rectangle, but if I think that I can do the square, depending on how I do up until that point, I might take the square, but right now it looks like the rectangle. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, good luck. Thank you. How are you feeling? I'm not feeling too, too good. Why? What's matter. the matter? I think I'm at a bit of a disadvantage at this one. Why? This is the first time I felt like maybe I'm going to have a problem. Why? Because I'm a lot taller. My feet are a lot bigger. I really just, I want to complete it. I'm just going to give it my all. Whatever happens, happens. I think you definitely have an advantage in watching her go first. Yes. Look at that thing wobbling. And I was very shaky. Yeah, it's very shaky. The wind's blowing, too. It's for all the marbles, another $25,000. In three, two, one, go. Oh, wow, she's a little shaky. Well, this is the easy part. This is the part where it's 12 inches wide. Ouch, 
take it longer than I thought she would. It must be hotter. It's got to be hotter than it looks. Yeah, this is the easiest one. <laughs> oh, look at that. She's going down the middle. Beam is six inches wide. This is a short Take it out, Nicole. That's it. All right, this is a six-inch beam. She's taking the shortcut. Here she goes. Whoa. Shaking. Whoa. Look out. It's shaking. You're moving. It is shaking. Take your time, Nicole. You're doing great. It is small. Your feet are hanging over the edges. You're doing great, Nicole. Slow and steady. <laughs> if she's going to go for the three-inch bar or if she's going to go all the way across. She's staying on the six-inch bar. Have to step in the you beam. Know, She's got to turn. Fall back. This is hard. This is where it gets weird. Making this transition is hard. And her feet are pretty wide apart right now, too. I don't think that's such a good thing. She might want to bring those suckers a little closer together. <laughs> you will each have to traverse this series of beams. Whoever gets to the finish line the fastest will win. This is where it gets weird. Making this transition is hard. And she's, her feet are pretty wide apart right now, too. I don't think that's such a good thing. She might want to bring those suckers a little closer together. Oh, oh, oh. I didn't expect that. Is she okay? I wasn't really looking down. I was trying to look straight ahead, and I was just trying to move slow. I was trying to step down to get onto the next beam and I just lost it because I was so tense at that moment. I think if I didn't have those level changes, I probably could have made it. Stepping up and down killed me. How are you feeling? Oh my God. That Talk was... me through it. That sucked, so that's the only word I have. All right, Holly, that's it. You heard her. You ready? <laughs> All right, I'm ready. Let's go, come on. Good luck. Okay, Holly, this is it. You complete it. You win $25,000. Which route do you think you're going to take? The outer route, the easy way. I'm not going for any balance beam awards today, so it's all about the money. I'm going to take the safest route possible. All right, Holly, it is all in your hands right now. All you have to do is complete this. There's no time limitations. You mm -hmm. get through it. You win $25,000, and you are the Fear Factor champion. Good luck. Thank you. Do you think she's going to fall? She may, I'm gonna yell, because you know, actually, I would never say this to her, but her yelling was affecting me. I was like, I wouldn't say, shop, you know? Really? <laughs> yeah. So you're gonna yell to her now? Yes, I'm gonna give her yes. a hard time too. <laughs> I think I'm at a definite disadvantage with my height. If I think she's 5'6 and I'm 5'11, it's quite a difference. And smaller feet, that's a huge advantage as well. All right, here we go, Holly. All you have to do is get through this and it's all you. Let me count you down now. In three, two, one, go! Oh my god. Slow and steady, Holly. Wow, this is harder than it looks. No rush, slow and steady. Are you shaking? It's really high up there. She's going a long way. She bypassed the shortcut. She's on a 12-inch beam now, and the next beam she's going to come to is 8 inches. Better watch out for that turn coming up. There she goes. This sucks. Wow! Oh, she's going sideways. Ooh, Stop shaking. So shaky. Stop shaking. She's looking very wobbly. If she gets through this, I'll be very impressed. 
Whoa, look at that thing shake. Oh, wow. Start taunting her kid. 25 grand's going right down the toilet. Don't give this away. Oh. Fall, Holly, fall on the turret. Come on. This next beam is also eight inches. You take your time. That was so much harder than it looked. Well, here we go now. Oh, my freaking. I need this one. Ah! Much smaller. Ooh, ooh, you're shaking. Okay, this final beam she's coming to is six inches. I don't know how to keep my legs from friggin' shaking. Holly, all you have to do is get across this six inch beam and it's over. Take your time. Huh? You're doing great. Fall, 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 fall. You're doing great, Holly. There's no way you can make that turn. Continue next, only on Schiller. 12 makeup artists go head to head. I love it. With eye popping challenges. Drop them. Oh my God. And top industry judges. Boy, are you in trouble. In a battle of imagination and transformation. I'm a very big fan of your work. Face Off Memorial Day Marathon. All day tomorrow, starting at 6 a.m. on Schiller. Scary Good.